Hello Smart Money Traders, you're welcome here if this is the first time you're coming here and if you're a returning viewer, you're welcome back. So in this video, we're going to go to the very basic of marking structures in financial market. If you're trading Forex or you're trading cryptos or you're trading any financial asset, this is the same thing across every financial market. And what makes this very important is that I'm actually going to show you how to correctly see through break of structures and how to identify true market structure shift. I'm not going to jump anything in this video. I'm going to go to the very basic, even though this is a very basic concept. But if you ignore anything that is important in this, it is definitely going to affect you. So you need to watch this video to the end and learn everything I'm going to show you. Now, I will also show you how to bring in time frame into how to mark out structures because a lot of you guys are still confused on how to mark out structures in higher time frame and still put it in lower time frame so we're going to go through that let's start from this sketch and then i'm going to go to the chart and show you everything i'm not going to jump and look out for somewhere better we're going to look at recent data and then how we can mark out structure correctly like the way ict thought okay so looking at this, this is an example of market delivery in uptrend. We basically have three market conditions. We have the uptrend, we have the downtrend, and we have the consolidating market. Okay, so I'm going to just give you an example with an uptrend. The same thing happens with a downtrend and a consolidation is definitely just a ranging market. So when you see market moving from one point to another, what moves the market is basically interest rate and then the energy behind that is liquidity so whenever you see the market moves from here to here it is actually looking for liquidity in the market and i told you that liquidity is basically money that is what we call liquidity so when you see this kind of movement price moved from here this level and then reached this area and then started coming back to this area and stopped at this point so from here to here we have a price range let's say this was the lowest place price was and then it moved to this area okay and created a new price range so we're going to mark out this this high here at this level we're going to mark it out that is the highest level price reached and then price was here before so when we say price has created a range from here to here, this was the range price created. So anything in between this is still part of the price action that price actually created here. For us to have a break of structure, this structure that was formed, you can see from here to here, it was what we call a structure. If we have a break of structure, it means we have broken outside this range that price actually created. That's as basic as I can explain to you. So whenever you hear about break of structure, it is basically saying we have broken outside the range here, from here to here. And now if we want to mark out new structure level, we are going to pay attention to the lowest level price actually reached out for and then the highest level price reached out for before breaking outside. Now from here, what you want to watch is actually this level let's look out for this highest level here this was the highest level after breaking before the retracement actually and then this was the lowest level so our structure here is not this one this is the lowest the lowest level price came to was here and then the highest was here okay so this is our new range from here to here so imagine somebody is here and is trying to guard price. Let's assume this is a wall, okay? This is a wall that nobody can break, very strong and heavy wall. So right here is where we want to mark out. Whenever we see price break outside this place, is where we have a break of structure. So this is what break of structure simply means, and this level too. So if price successfully break outside this we have a break of structure the next thing to do is to mark out the new level again the lowest level price came to in that retracement was here and then the highest was here okay 
now notice something inside this range there are levels that you can actually see price breaking right here price breaking this is not the major break of structure even though this are break of structure inside the range and look at this this is a break of structure inside the range but the most important thing is this area so you can have this price action happening inside the range and this is where time frame comes into if we are watching this from the higher time frame let's say the weekly time frame this small movement inside will be a major downtrend in the four hour or the one hour or the daily because this movement if you're talking about the weekly is actually a very very long time movement so i'm going to show you on the chart don't worry but let's just get this basic understanding first so let's say this is where we have a security guard again watching out this level and somebody is trying to push out and don't forget this was the lowest level price was before so this is what you watch out for within this range here to here we are just paying attention to that and then right here price actually broke structure so this is it break of structure now when we go to the chart i'm going to show you how to look at a correct and true break of structure that is when you see the body of the candles actually close outside this level and then the same thing here we have this break of structure happened correctly at that point break of structure and then the lowest level was actually here so you're going to mark it out here and then here this is the same thing here and then here okay so this is how to correctly mark out structure now where do we see a true structure shift from an uptrend if we have a downtrend we want to see that this lowest level okay as price was going up this was the lowest level price was if we must have a downtrend we must be able to take out this guy first we must be able to take out this guy completely we close below this guy and then if we have a retracement that is when we can see we have a downtrend until this happens we are still in an uptrend market so when you see this happen this guy the last lowest level and this is why we have higher high higher high higher high higher high higher high higher low higher low higher low higher low so the higher low that was formed the last time is our benchmark so whenever we see price actually move outside this that is when we can say we have a market structure shift market structure shift simply means complete turn in the direction of the market from here to here and we have this complete turn prices actually behaving that way so i don't want to spend much time explaining this let me just go to the chart and show you how to go about that so coming to our chart i'm not going to select some very nice place and show you this i'm just basically going to show you this from the most recent data and i'm going to use the four hour time frame because if you're trading intraday the four hour time frame is actually very good for you you can use it for anything and you will not get affected okay so looking at this so look at what is happening from here if i zoom it in i just want to show you the entire data so you can see look at this from here we were in a downtrend can you see let me show you i want to show you where the downtrend ended before we had an uptrend from here look at what happened price actually pushed below here this was the lowest level assuming this is the range that price formed here and here remember this is it here and here so we want to see price actually break below here with the body of the candle so happening here happening here where did that happen it happened rightly at this point let me show you that it happened at this point where you see this red candle completely outside this line outside this line that is where the break of structure actually happened here if the body of the candle did not close outside we do not have any break of structure likewise here look at this a new structure was formed look at this 
after that break of structure this is the highest level this is the lowest level so we're going to watch out this guy price was just coming around here look at this to this place it did not break structure it did not break structure until at this point this level this is where we see this happening price actually had a break of structure here okay i hope you are understanding this and i hope if you have any question you will let me know break of structure right here okay so this was the lowest level i just marked out this because these levels are the same okay these levels are the same and then no way did we see a break of structure here this is price coming to react here bounce back react here bounce back and this we have a break of structure forget about here this please we had a break of structure anything that happens subsequently we're going to see it assuming you are not seeing anything this is happening live so this is a break of structure where is our new range now this place this is the new range we have here the lowest level is where you're going to mark out so this is our security guard now until we take out this last lower high we are not in an uptrend yet so this is how to mark out that so we're going to watch out as price comes back is it going to bounce back and come down or is it going to take out this guy and then we're going to have a turn in market structure so look at this if you look at this place you're going to see that price actually took out this guy this last guy here and we closed above him so that means we have a market structure shift in this place what some people call change of character is the same thing with market structure shift change of character came from uh, those guys teaching ict as smc concept alone so this is change of character or market structure shift is the same thing so price actually turned from here and this is where we can say that we are in an uptrend we are in an uptrend can you see this from there did you see an uptrend movement yes and that is the very foundation of trading with this kind of model so from here we can see that price created a new range this is it the range is here the highest level was here and then the lowest level was still here this is the range and look at what happened price actually pushed outside it this is where you can see what i'm saying price actually took this level and then had a break of structure here right here was where we see the break of structure happen so this is a break of structure and then price came back into it this is our new range now this place and the highest level now let me show you something very powerful that i learned from ict if you're watching a retracement the retracement must have at least three candles and then this is how to mark it out can you see this first one two three this is what you should look out for the candles must be taken out can you see the low of this candle that's in a downtrend must be taken out by this candle and then the low of this must be taken out if you have at least three then you have a retracement that is where you can say i have a retracement coming in so you can see one two three the candles have given you that exact thing i think this is important please take notice of that so this is it let me show you the place this is our new level right here that we formed okay so we want to watch how price will take out that guy and see where we're going to mark our range so right here this is the highest level is actually the highest level you want to mark and then bring it down to this area and see your break of structure actually price closed outside it where did it happen right here let me show you it did not happen here where you see this you know tail outside or the week so right here we did not have a break of structure this is the week and that is what i wanted you to see if the body of the candle did not close outside this we do not have a break of structure if the body of the candle did not close outside this area we did not have a break of structure including this this is not a break of structure this is where a break of structure actually happened here 
where you see this body of the candle closed outside this line so this is the very basic of market structure okay so whenever you see that you should be able to take notice of that and then we formed a new range this is it the lowest level was here and then the highest level was here so we look out for breakout structure at that point and see how that will happen so take your line and put it from the highest level draw it across and see if there is a break of structure no there is no break of structure here there is no break of structure here and this is the tricky part of it because most of you don't see that so from here to here the tail can you see the wick just printed outside wick printed outside wick printed outside this is not a break of structure where a break of structure actually happened was here let me show you was right at this point this level where you see the body of the candles pushed outside the level that is where we have a break of structure so the new range is actually here the lowest area was here this level and the highest is here so we watch out for another push and see how it's gonna be so this place price pushed to this place came back and then somebody pushing it imagine somebody trying to push a lever from here outside this and this guy is your resistant level the new higher high that was formed you want to watch price take out this level before you say you have a break of structure i'm not teaching you how to enter a trade i'm showing you the very foundation of everything you're going to do in forex and any financial asset break of structure here okay if you want to learn how to mark it out you simply if you pick your line just draw it like this okay come to where you see settings then come to where you see text in the text you just put your you know name let's say b o s just an example and you can put it either in the middle or at the top or at the center i use it at the middle you click on ok you can see it will give you that so this is basically how to go about it or you can simply come here and go to where you can see save drawing template and then save it and it will be automatically saved you can name it and it will be automatically saved so whenever you draw a line you can label it automatically so i hope you're getting knowledge in this and if you are still watching this from here now simply come to my youtube channel and hit the subscribe button and if you have any concern you can watch my playlist on smart money concept so still going on break of structure and identifying true change of character so you've observed all through this movement we do not have a change of character or a market structure shift so we keep going taking out this level you can see taking out this level we've taken out this level and then the lowest level was formed here taking out this level even and we keep going so until at this point we had a break of structure right here let me show you a break of structure at this point we had a break of structure and this was the lowest level we formed at this point can you see price actually pushed outside here we have this lowest level at this point because that is our area of concern let me just give it a price came retraces after this break of structure we saw this retracement and this is our new range here and here okay as price came did we see a break of structure yes there is a break of structure here let me show you that a break of structure here at this point and this is our lowest level this is our lowest level so this is how to know where a market structure shift happens if we take out this last lowest level then we can say to have a market structure shift and that is exactly what happened right here a market structure shift i took time to explain this in detail so i will not have questions from you guys uh, concerning this again so right here is where you see your market structure shift and then after that what did you see a downtrend so until at this point where we have another shift in market structure after this downtrend so basically everything i explained here is everything you need to be able to identify market structure there are concepts i have taught 
on my YouTube channel on how to basically inculcate this and trade it like a professional. You're going to check my YouTube channel and watch it out and how to use it for other blocks and, you know, favor lookups and all those stuff. I hope this video is really helpful. If you have any question, let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.